Hey guys, it's Thursday, July 19th, and I've got an update on the Daytona supercharger. So there was three issues with the supercharger. Um, man, I knew there was something wrong with it. Uh, nothing really major, but uh, there was a vacuum line that was leaking, so I was losing a ton of vacuum. Um, when the supercharger started building boost, the belt was slipping. Um, so that was, so I was hardly getting any boost. Uh, we got a new upgraded belt ordered. So when we get to slap that on and that'll uh, eliminate that issue. Um, also the coolant reservoir for the supercharger was bone dry, man, it was totally empty. For all I know, the the day I bought it, it was it was empty. Uh, it was my dumbass fault for not checking it. Uh, luckily, it didn't harm the supercharger at all. But what it did was uh, eliminate the air being cooled. So the air, the reservoir being empty, the air the supercharger was blowing into the intake wasn't being cooled at all. So that was that was a big uh, performance hindrance, also. So they got that filled back up, and uh, in the future, I'm gonna have to make sure that I uh, keep an eye on that and make sure it stays full. So once I get those, all that stuff taken care of, uh, the supercharger is gonna be running at 100%. Uh, looking forward to that so the uh, the big build that I was going to do with the Daytona um, I've been having a lot of uh, So I want to talk about the big build uh, with the Daytona also. I've had a lot of unforeseen expenses coming up that have come up with, with all three of my vehicles. Um, it's just kind of building up here. So um, I'm going to put the, whole, the Daytona build on hold till next year. I need to build the savings back up, uh, recover from all the all the expenses here lately so that's kind of a bummer but uh, oh, there's always next year so to leave on a positive note uh, once all the issues with the Daytona supercharger are taken care of Chad at the shop is going to put the Daytona on the dyno and it's going to get a full dyno tune. I'm pretty excited for that. But they're not going to be able to get to it for three more weeks. They're going to record every dyno run with the charge with the Daytona. So that's be pretty badass. I'm going to have some uh, dyno footage uh, to show you guys and. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see what the Daytona can throw up for horsepower numbers and torque. And it's going to be a, definitely going to be a different beast when I get it back. So I'm out in the middle of the damn country trying to shoot a quick video and I keep getting these vehicles coming out of nowhere. We'll get this thing done here sooner or later. So I should be getting the 100th anniversary charger back this weekend or early next week. And I cannot wait. I miss that thing like crazy. It's looking so badass. Uh, I'm gonna have a ton of video to 
uh, to put up in the future with uh, with both chargers. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, there's going to be some pretty cool stuff. So that's it all I have for right now. Have a good one, guys, and we'll catch you later. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Later. And don't forget to click that notification bell. We've got a lot of good stuff coming up, guys. All right, later.